Warm wishes, Virgos. Welcome to your reading. It's a simple sneak. All right, let me stop playing with you. Stop playing with you guys. Hey, hi, Virgos. What's going on, my soul tribe? My love, love, love. Y'all said, Empress Meek, you starting with the games already. Look, I love to bring you love, light, and encouragement. That's what this channel is all about. Healing energy. It's high vibrations over here. I keep you, yeah, I keep you gassed up and keeps your vibrations high. Yes. How are you guys today, my loves? Hey, my loves. I got a good message for you today. The energy is, honey, you will have the last laugh, okay? This is the channel message that Spirit brought to me. I'm looking forward to cracking open these cards, getting you your tarot and oracle card message for today. It is really going to be a good one. I feel the energy already. Virgos, I have to say that I'm really proud of you guys. I feel a lot of positive energy as I'm coming into the room, as I'm coming into your energy. Um, thank you guys for coming in with your love and support, your likes, shares, and subscribes. Hi to all my new family members. Yes, it's always a good time over here. I'm, a, I'm, I'm a pretty fun, you know. I could be serious, but we have a good time either laughing, spying, or either healing and elevating. Either way, it's a good time and always something in each and every message for you. Okay, so all are welcome here, cross, cross watchers. Hey, y'all, oh, hey. <laughs> to um anybody with Virgo placements, hi and welcome. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this energy. I'm sending you love as always. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So you do see a couple cards here. These cards fell out of the tea leaf deck as I was shuffling, and I really love the energy for you. So I'm gonna show them to you in a second. Um, let me shuffle these cards and say a quick prayer. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Angels. Hello, thank you so much for being ahead of this reading. Thank you so much for bringing me here as a positive vessel of love, light, and positive energy for my Virgos. Thank you for your spiritual wisdom, guidance, and protection, blocking and bonding on negative energy and entities, any um, wicked energy or forces or dark magic, anything that may be casted our way or sent our way. We ask you that you cast it out into the sea of the abyss. We really don't want you to return at the sender, but do send our enemies a message. Okay, let them know not to come toward us. No weapon formed by the enemy shall prosper thank you for your vict um, victory all of over our lives and in every situation and we appreciate this abundance and overflow that is flowing into our lives freely we are open to receive all the gifts and blessings that the universe has for us amen amen and healing in our hearts minds bodies souls and spirits amen hallelujah Look, that was a hallelujah kind of prayer. Okay, get into it. Get into it. And if you don't love me, baby, I don't know what to tell you, honey. You got to lighten up, okay? Let love guide you, baby. Let love guide you, okay? Um, Let's see what's going on, Virgo. So first things first, we're going to get um some messages from your angels. Then I'm going to go and let you know. These are oracle cards. Well, they're tarot cards. They're angels to row. So we're going to get in a couple of messages from here. We're going to clarify the messages um, toward the end after we go through these tea leaf cards. So we're going to get a few angel messages from the angel tarot. Then we're going to go through the tea leaf cards and see what spirit wants to tell you. The two cards that came out over here, let me tell you real quick since you've been seeing them. Um, the first one is you'll receive a gift. And the, well, the second one was you will receive a gift. And the first one that came out is do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Okay. And I, this tells me that somebody is bullying. This could be office bullying. Somebody who's trying to outshine you, overshadow you, make you feel weak, insignificant. Somebody could be doing things to try to make you feel like they're, that you have no power. So whoever this is, this energy is about to be defeated big time. And you're going to receive a gift for the mature way that you've been handling this situation. Um, now, I got this vibe for you before. And we definitely talked about that before. But it, here it is coming out again. So somebody definitely needs to know that. Spirit is encouraging your heart today to continue you to stand firm do not back down okay this person can be just as ugly as they want to be i feel like somebody is ugly on the inside and starting to look even uglier on the outside and you know what to god be the glory okay that's hey you don't have nothing to do with that virgo all i'm saying is spirit is telling you not to back down and you have some type of gift coming so we are going to clarify that let's go ahead and get a message holy spirit holy angels surrounding energy for my virgo lovies what does virgo need to know today Wow, what you want to tell Virgo? Be bold and make the move that you're deciding to make with the two of fire. All right, competing goals, bother some details, conflict with others. Yeah, I see it here. Spirit is saying don't matter. Don't back down, okay? Don't back down. 
All right, the star card. Happy times make positive, optimistic, long-term plans on the right path. So you are on the right path. And when it's time for you to move on to something else, spirit will definitely start moving you in that direction, opening doors that indicate that. But in the meantime, in between time, you are to stand your ground Earn your keep and know your worth, okay? Don't let anybody push you around or try to take your voice away or anything like that. Whatever this is, you're being told to stand your ground against whatever competition this is. You're going to teach this person a valuable lesson, okay? God is making moves, moving mountains out of your way. Even if you don't see it happening and it may not look like that to you from the naked eye, that's why we walk by faith and not by sight because man can make something seem like anything. But God makes big moves and these moves make energy shift so you will definitely see the changes you will start seeing the changes for a lot of you guys you have seen these bullies and these enemies of yours fall you've done nothing to these people all right but i see you continuing to be um confident i feel this positive energy of self-assurance i feel reassurance i also feel a lot of dignity um, and pride, but not in a bad way. You're taking pride in your actions. You're taking pride in your job. You're taking pride in standing your ground and showing that you know your worth. This is bringing you another level of happiness. The sun also is bringing this soothing, positive energy. All right, happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success and have confidence in yourself. So this is another confidence and ego boost that you definitely need. I feel like you're being very humble and very resilient, but at the same time, a lot of you guys are starting to be more assertive and speak up for yourself. I know these readings help. I do get your testimonials and all your beautiful messages, and I do see them. I might not always be able to respond to everyone, okay, but I definitely do see them, all right, and I'm very proud of that energy. Our readings look a lot different from two years ago when I first started, okay, so I'm grateful for you guys, so grateful, all right? <clears throat> So with the four of water, missing an opportunity, discontentment, boredom, open your eyes to the possibility. Spirit doesn't want you to feel too sad. All right. The universe and the energy around you is definitely big about you being bored. Okay. You're being bored. You're feeling bored with the things that are going on, with the options, with the opportunities. Something is making you feel very bored. Okay. And this is why the universe is moving, changing things in your favor. With the sun card, the four of cups, and the nine of cups, baby, your wishes come true. All right. Concerns fade away. A love of life. This is the energy that spirit wants you to be in. So with the sun card and your wishes coming true, it definitely is trumping this four of cups, this discontentment and this boredom and some feeling like something may be a missed opportunity. No, 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 no. It's only a game for you. Even if it's a new door opening for you very soon and a new opportunity, it's only a game. Okay. Spirit is definitely putting things in perspective. All right. Somebody could definitely be going against somebody that's really trying to cause a lot of hardship for you, but don't worry. Okay. Stay in your ground, okay? Definitely stay in your ground. But I do see a wish being granted here. And we're going to go through this really quick. Let's see what Spirit wants to tell you about these cards. Let's pull out tea, tea leaf cards real quick. And then we'll start to clarify this message, okay? So with the tea leaf cards, you got reef. So it could have been sorrow over a loss from somebody. This kind of um, sorrow over a loss for somebody. And then good news. All right, so something could have made somebody sad. It could have been a loss or you're sad about having to walk away from something for somebody. But don't worry. You're about to hear this good news that makes you feel very excited. You're going to feel a lot better about what happened. And like I said, you have so much joy. Happy times make positive, optimistic changes. So you have the star card, the sun card. That's two major arcanas that's, that's talking about good news, triumph, success, healing energy and positive um turnarounds these are the mountains being moved out of your way okay with the two of fire you've come into your own new partnerships or contracts continue to move forward spirit said don't you dare break don't you break and don't you change don't change a thing not right now now is not the time to um to shy away or hold your tongue now is the time to stand firm know your place take the front seat like you belong in the front speak your peace but still be humble and stand your ground, okay? This is definitely assertive type energy, but very positive, kind-hearted, loving energy, all right? So, yeah, this is what Spirit wants you to do, okay? You will get the last laugh in this. Don't, don't fold and don't bend. 
When it's time, you'll know. But until it's time, don't make any premature decisions or moves, okay? Just stand your ground for right now, all right? So you're going to hear some type of positive news um, confirming this, all right? You're going to hear some news, some positive news. It's going to be a shift in the energy after maybe feeling sad. Somebody could have um, even took a demotion or you could have had to walk away. Maybe you moved because I'm feeling the move here. Did you have to move from one house to another, from one section to another, maybe one department to another? Somebody had to walk away from a person like you left this house because you couldn't deal with it anymore. It's something like that. Tell me your situation in the comments. Um, don't make it too long, but yeah, tell me what's going on here. Show me the tea leaf card spirit for Virgo. What do they need to know here? All right, somebody is being told to increase your um, efforts if you want to achieve your goal. So whatever this is, if you're wanting a new job, you're wanting a better work environment, you're wanting more peace, um, or you want to change your surroundings because maybe your family is getting on your nerves or this neighborhood, somebody has just a very nagging neighbor. This neighbor is obsessed, they are nosy, and somebody is all in your business, okay? Um, also somebody has somebody at their job that's keeping a close eye on them and the way they make you feel is very uncomfortable. You're over this situation and I feel like because they're plotting, whoever this is wants you to feel insignificant. You are very significant and you're more powerful than them, more knowledgeable than them. It's important that you know that it's important that you know that you are making these people uncomfortable. That's the thing. Because of your gifts, because of your talents, because of your grace, okay, period, because of your grace. You're making these people uncomfortable because a lot of them have very toxic, dark ways and they're forced to live in it because that's the choice they made. But as long as you stay under the light and under the divine covering of Holy Spirit, the divine, the most high, you're good. And people are mad because you chose this path and you're actually walking in it. It's working for you. But what works for you, not going to work for them, no matter how much they try to copy, watch you lie whatever they're trying to do all they're doing is creating hell for themselves and for a lot of you guys you can see a change in these people you like dag they used to be all shiny and looking all good now they look a mess like they just raggedy they falling off they be looking all depressed and sad or just i don't know some of these people on those drugs looking all crazy and no offense if you're smoking that weed baby do you do you but look don't let it overtake your life to the point where you're looking like a zombie and just losing every damn thing i mean my god okay you're not thinking right some of these people dibbing and dabbing in, in in toxicity or witchcraft and all this stuff and it's sucking their soul dry but don't worry you don't have anything to do with that these people gonna fall to their own demise for challenging you for going against you and for trying to mess with you here you go right here this card this bull card do not back down from opposition show strength and fortitude tells me that somebody is bullying you or pushing you or trying to make you feel insignificant in some way and the five of fire here, competing goals. You're trying to do your job and somebody's attacking you. Bothersome details, conflict with others. That's telling me right here. But all these other cards, the star, the sun, the nine of water, um, the gift card. All right? The, the needle and the thread. A sincere wish will be granted. You got God speaking to you right now, baby. Triumph over troubles and obstacles. I've been holding in my hand the whole time waiting to show you. Period. Somebody type in the comments, period, poo, okay? Yes, go ahead and talk a little slang today, period, poo, right? I feel you, Virgo, and you deserve this, okay? Now, let's go ahead and get into the tarot portion of your reading, my lovies. Let's see what spirit, as soon as I pick up the deck, honey, justice, okay? Balance and truth is what you're standing in. Intellect and restitution is what's going to happen, okay? You're using your intellect to get the restitution that you deserve. Beauty and harmony is what flows around, through, and to you, okay? You're a very beautiful being, all right? Male and female energy, you're a very beautiful vessel, all right? And very harmonious to be around, to encounter, all right? And this makes people very nervous, but this is also the energy that attracts Fairness, fair judgment, blessings, all right? The divine, like you got divine energy all around you and through you, Virgo. It's nothing they could do about it. They just got to be mad. You ever seen somebody that just look like they got the stomach virus when you come in? These people look constipated. 
Whatever is wrong with them, I don't care. And somebody's staring at you, giving you the evil eye, and we cast that down by the blood of Jesus. It's going right back to you, baby. Anybody that's sending you any type of evil eye or evil intentions, it's going to come right back and blind them. They're going to get hit by their own things because you have protection. All right? You guys pray over yourself. And if even if you don't, baby, I pray over you, okay? I send it your way, all right? The universe knows, okay? So, look. I can't make everything go away for you because some things you have to do for yourself. But when you come over here in my house, oh, we covered by the Lord. I don't care what nobody thinks. Baby, I ain't never going to change that. Nope, I'm never going to change it. And if this door closed for me, we're going to go somewhere else and have a spiritual party and get healed and elevated. We're going to do it another way. It's all about divine timing. Don't forget that, okay? Two of fire. What's going on with the two of fire? Somebody said, put down the card, Empress. Okay, okay. Here we go. The chariot, okay? <laughs> Purposeful action, focus and determination, victory and success. You're going to win every time with this positive energy and this high vibration. I'm trying to tell you, baby. That's why I don't do a lot of cussing, fussing, negative energy and keeping you stuck over here. What am I going to do that for? That means I ain't doing my job, okay? I don't need you chasing your tail. I need you showing the most how they, yeah. And for Smeek did tell us this, and it did. We did apply it, and boom, here we are, closer to you. Like, I need it to work, okay? I need to see some fruits growing. That's how I know I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, right? So the chariot is also talking about you balancing your energy out. So you won't be too stuck in your emotions because people are pushing you. But instead, you're using that pain for passion to drive you, to push you toward your goal, right? That's the chariot. That's what you're balancing your masculine and feminine energies do. You're activating um, your encouragement for yourself. And you're, and you're motivating yourself to get up and take action in spite of. It's the in spite of for me. Y'all got to go ahead and shine. Show me five of fire that's competing goals and bother some details. You're going straight forward. Straight ahead. Three of cups, baby. Look, trumping that energy with the celebration, friendships, abundance, and community. The community appreciates you. Baby, these haters, these little five people that's against you always in your business trying to push you. This little sorry group of people that's failing. Honey, they're outnumbered. Virgo, know that they're outnumbered, okay? Whoever this is, and I'm sorry if it's your family members, baby. I don't mean no harm, man. I don't want no smoke. I'm not trying to be talking about your family now. But sometimes that's just a title. Some of these people are toxic, and they're going to get there just due. They're going to get theirs, okay? I'm, look, but don't shoot the messenger. Show me the star card. You know, I mean, everything I'm saying with as much love as possible, but uh, ain't no respect the person over here for a karma. Uh, you get it. You get it. You did it. You did it, Okay? With the star card, happy times make positive, optimistic changes, long-term plans on the right path. Chaos, drama, and competition. These people can't stand it. The more you, look, baby, I'm trying to tell you, Virgo, the more your wings spread, the more you're in your power, the more you know your worth, and the more positive energy and love you spread, healing energy, it is truly upsetting somebody. These people are having us a hissy fit about it. It's like we got to do something. Baby, Spirit said, let them keep trying. Let them do all they can. All they're doing is activating this karma to come right their way. Because the universe needs to know what's happening. And this, oh, this don't match your bright white light. This some kind of blackish, blackish, grayish, smoky light or whatever. It's attracting what it's supposed to attract to get it knocked out of the way. I'll tell you that for sure, okay? The sun. Let's see what the sun is. With that five of wands energy, they won't leave you alone. Baby, this is spiritual love, honey. Dreamy love messages, baby. Positive energy from the divine. This is divine love. This is also you using your intuition, my loves. So you can move right. So you can know what to do. So you can maneuver through these things. Right? Yeah. Somebody said, I'm, I choose to be happy. You're spreading love. You're spreading peace. You're spreading joy. And it's getting you everywhere. Some of y'all are still speaking to these people. And you know they hate you. I don't care. Y'all like, I don't care. Good morning. Hope everybody has a beautiful day. That's how you do it, Virgo. That's how you do it. You don't let them change you. You let them change. You, you, you rub off on them so they change, okay? You got the Hierophant here. God himself stepping in to move these mountains out of your way. You, every time you do something and they end this Five of Wands energy with this dark cloud around them, God like, up, oh, I got them. Go ahead, angels. Get over there and get that one. Up, oh, I got them. Go ahead over there and get that one. Yeah, get them out of here, Lord, please, because we need all the help we can get. Nobody ain't fighting these people. It's a spiritual battle. 
You'll be tired and passed out and exhausted trying to argue these evil people down. They never going to stop. They always going to come up with something else. You let the divine handle that. And you stay firm. Do what you're supposed to do. Stay positive and get your recognized victory, baby. You get your blessings, okay? Go get it. Go get your blessings. Go get it. Go get it. Hey, go get your blessings. It's your time. It's your time, and you earned it. You earn your leisure each and every time. Do what you gotta do, Virgo. Don't let them. Don't let them distract you. Commitments and values is important to you. You have crazy faith, and this is what gets you through every time. Spiritual traditions. You like? I'm gonna do what I was taught in the spirit. I'm not gonna argue with you. I know this is a spiritual battle, baby, and you got demons to fight. That ain't my job, right? That is not your job. Know your place, Virgo. Know your power. Know your role. It's not your job. Nine of water energy, this nine of cups energy for Virgo, which is granted. Show us clear messages. Boom, the strength. <laughs> Fortitude, resilience, and self-discipline. It's getting you there each and every time. You stand your ground, okay? You continue to stand your ground. Continue to love yourself. Continue to stand firm and be encouraged. It's not easy. No, it's not. But it's doable because you're doing it. And the proof is right here. You're going to get your just due and your wishes will be granted. You got a gift coming. You got a gift coming. Spirit says just continue to work hard. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. You know what goals you're setting. So work hard. Push toward it. All right. But at the end of all of it, trouble over um, triumph over troubles and obstacles. You win. This is a win for you. So don't forget that, Virgo. I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. I feel like Spirit has definitely spoken, and this is all the positive encouragement you need right now. I will definitely be back for another reading. I'll see you later with this compatibility, friendship, and an unbreakable bond. Um, you and the you and the relationship with the divine is a bond and a love that's gonna last forever. Okay, you're always gonna be assisted. So you're not in this alone, baby. Okay. All right, I love you guys, and if you want a personal read to bring some clarity on your situation, you can book your reading at closer, the number two, mydestiny.com. For all of you who are still listening, I really love your support, and I thank you so, so much for your loyalty and for watching the videos all the way through. It really means a lot for our channel, so thank you so much. Thank you for liking and sharing and subscribing. Bye, guys.